companions assemble once more. Travel to the harborage. It is time for our final preparation. Welcome back. In my sleep, I hear his tormented screams. A Molog bar. As you wish. Saisahan has something he wanted to ask you. The greatest of the. You should go to. We want you to join us as our fifth member. You were the champion we should have had with us back then. Don't look so grave. This is largely symbolic. But please, humor and. My lord, with your permission. You needn't call me that anymore, Saisahan. We are equals now. All those years ago, when we fought beneath our Lord's banner to free the Empire from the Long House Emperors, we did so with a dream of freedom and peace in mind. Not just for the Empire, but for all of Tamriel. Together, we forged a fellowship stronger than any blade, only to see it shattered upon the rocks of deceit by one of our own. That fellowship is no more. Yet we four have assembled here, united by a single purpose. It is not vengeance that drives us. But truth, and loyalty, and justice. I, Sai Sahan, steward of the Abbey of Blades, call for the five companions to be reforged this day by the light of Stendar and the heart of Lorcan. May our blade of fellowship be forged anew, and may the vestige, our mutual friend and ally, become its tip. We may thrust it straight into the heart of a Daedric prince. Sai Sahan is right. You are the member that we should have had all those years ago. It is as the scrolls foretold. The soulless one will become the brightest of five stars, and they shall guide us to the coming dawn. Oh, please, you melodramatic sots. Fine, fine. If seeing one of your foolish prophecies come true will help to ensure the safety of the Empire, I'll play host. Stand united once more. The five companions are reforged, and together we will strike down the God of Schemes! Come here, my friend. I've got a few things I want to say before you go. It's been a long... Where do you see yourself going after all of this is over? I mean, assuming we survive, get your soul back, and stop Molag Ball. <laughs> Traveling is a humble... What? No! <laughs> Can you imagine it? Lyra's Titanborn. Oh, look. One last thing. You like mead. I knew I liked you. So, let's toast. Let's not forget the struggles that got us to this point. We're almost home. We just have a bit further to fight. Are you all insane? You do realize what we need to do, right? We have to fight a Daedric Prince. Amulet or no, this is going to mean more death. Vestige, come here. I'll tell you what they're afraid to mention. Getting all chummy with Titanborn? I enjoy the company of clever, well-informed people. You really should try it sometime. So, the farmer... I suppose it is. First, the plain meld must be stopped. Then, I know more about the Daedra than... With the amulet. The ritual we perform. Only if we use it. Calling upon the power of the amulet in this manner will cons... More specifically, one of our three companions. Of course it is. The fact of the matter stands, however. One of the five will need to give their life to fuel this attack, when the time comes. So you said before the Vestige arrived. And I've already thought it over. I'll do it. Snow Lily, no. You should not need to give your life this way. This is my duty. Penance for my numerous failures. This is my chance to make things right. The scroll said nothing of this moment, and so I am not bound to their dictates. Vestige, I ask that you let me do this one thing. All that has happened was because of my hubris. I shall be the one. Sire, you've done enough. This was Manny Marco's doing, not yours. As the one who will fight the Daedric Prince, the Vestige should decide. I don't see you leaping to volunteer, Tharn. Saving your own backside again? Hard as it may be, Lyris, don't be an idiot. I am the only one who knows the ritual, and we don't have time to teach anyone else. That's enough. It won't be decided here and now. Vestige, come.
Come here. I have some final words for you. It appears we have come full circle, Vestige. That millions of others may live, yes. Do not be troubled. Any one of us would live. As Thaun has said, when the plain meld has been... Adept, good to see you in person. I am Vana Scalarian, head of the Mages Guild you so ably serve. I have need of your assistance. Yes, it's high time Tamriel was free of Molongbal's grip. I want you to meet with Razumdar, first in the eyes of the Queen.
Over here. Get you anything? I've had a few too many already. Seems like just moments ago we were in June, yes? It is a yes. The Queen certain job for Cariel. No way. Do it yourself. What? Why? Thrush is a homicidal maniac. And Copper Daria, let's just say I'm not her favorite person. Why is Copper Daria displeased with Cariel? I may have collapsed a building on top of her. Accidentally. Ah, yes. This one forgot about that. Very well. Roz will take care of it. And he will send Copper Daria your warmest regards. Apologies for my lateness. Damn it, Rez. Not so close. That's all. Esteemed High King Emmerich, I thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I would not presume to waste your time without good reason. We've known each other for some time, Master Galerion. You aren't known for your capricious whims. Tell me, though, who is your companion? Your Majesty, this is Queen Irene's personal representative, here to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor Crisis. So Queen Irene sends her personal champion into the stronghold of her greatest enemy. Either she has a lot of faith in you, or she's trying to get you killed. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Come, let us speak. Tell me then. Ha! <laughs> Tell Cariel that I hope to Tomorrow. drop in for a visit very soon. From an upper story. She'll know what I mean. So, you've been mingling with the enemy, have you, Daria? Watch yourselves, outsiders. Give us a good reason, and the armagers will cut you down where you stand. We'll burn you. And shatter you. Any questions? Honored no, Skald King, you I am here a personal, personal champion of Queen Irene. Galarian, please continue. My companion hopes to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor Crisis. I have heard tales of this one. The Skald King favors the bold, even among his enemies. Come, champion, let us speak. I will see whether all we have. Next time I'm in the field, I think I'll bring a great war hammer or two. All three leaders. Individually, the leaders are rational. Everything's been prepared. Are you ready to travel to the summit? Please. The Alliance leaders are waiting.
If you're working in cloth or leather... Good to see you. Welcome. Why did you run off? I was just preparing the portal. Please, return as soon as you can. Welcome, friend.
Five foes. Five fold venerations, my five fold. We just got in.
The word has been given. A moment, please. I'll wait for you on the other side. Our represent. Welcome to. I don't. Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small <laughs> task. I. Look! It's Lady Laurent! Careful with that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry it up. We're missing everything. I never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. That is Galarian. The if summit I is just breathe. A Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. Stibbons, haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. Captain in charge of security, Alfari is over there. Hi, King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Joran Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Bal commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Vanus. But I'm going to check on my lion guard. This is going even if we can an interest willing and able. But like the mages. This queen, I don't doubt their commitment. Arcade's beard.
With our combined... An excellent... What about you? <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedra Corps? Perhaps. I haven't. He. he has arrived. I can't. Caldian, what's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! These are the great leaders of Tambiel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place, so I can crush them like insects. Molon Fall! Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. After that. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor. Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Vanos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emmerich. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Sturk interior. The Champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, champion. Let's go! Stand up, protect us all! What's this? 
What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have Oh, am I not? Did I? Did I? Very few It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor, for Molag Baal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Watch. Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia the Radiant One. They lived in peace and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Baal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. These defenders did what they could, but they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered, but the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the Aeliad King Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The Aeliad King single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, but she also saw an opportunity. Molag Baal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor.
Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the Aeliad King was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain, and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise, an overconfident Molag Ball. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian. You, you shall require more than just the king and the mage, of course. Go. I recommend heading. King Di As you know, rumors only. I'm 